Welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. Beautiful Wednesday morning here in the Philippines. I know it's Tuesday evening or Tuesday night in America. I want to talk about, you know, if you decide to take your Filipino wife or girlfriend back to your country, don't move her back to the Philippines to live. It's a big mistake. If you care anything about your relationship, listen to me today. Now, this isn't going to apply to everybody. But if you're married to a young woman, if she's young, see, because age has a lot to do with this, then it may apply to you. If it doesn't, listen anyway. Even if you're not involved yet. If you haven't even made that decision. Because a lot of people, you know, we have that argument. Should I leave her here or should I take her home? But this vlog is about if you made the decision to take her home. I'm saying don't ever bring her back here to live. Yeah, let her visit her family and her friends and everything like that. But don't ever bring her back. And I'm going to tell you why. But before I even say that, let me put this into some context. And let me say this first. I know very little about the Philippines, about the culture, about the people. To say that I know what it's like to walk in somebody's shoes over here, I can't even imagine. I'm not even pretend to know. So you can imagine back in 2010 when I met my wife, I knew even less. And then even in 2014. But I did know this. I did know that life was hard for her. You know, sometimes I really think I know what the struggle is like over here. I, I really don't. Okay. I just want to make that clear. But a lot of the women that we deal with over here, and I think you probably realize this by now, they're the breadwinners. And they have a lot of pressure on them to provide, to contribute to the family. And her situation was no different made even harder by the fact her father had died 10 years or 11 years before I met her. And let's just get into it. You know, we make the decision to bring her to America. We've been together for four years, you know, because some guys, you know, let me say this. A lot of guys, you know, they have to bring the woman there because they're not old enough to retire. They don't have the money to move her permanently. And they have a legitimate relationship. And they want to bring her there. And I understand that. So they do. So we make the decision. Now here's the big mistake is, you know, when I'm saying I don't know the struggle for real. I don't know what my wife is leaving behind here. I don't know why she really wants to go over there. Because I, I can't walk in somebody's shoes over here. I've never walked in anybody's shoes over here. I really don't know how hard they have it. I, I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. But I really don't know. So she comes over there and she does exactly what Filipinos do. She assimilates. She strives. She gets a great group of friends around her. Finds a great job. You know, starts selling in. Sending money back and ballot band boxes back. Now, I can imagine, you know, the dreams she must have had and the plans and all of that when she moved to America of what she wanted to do, not only for herself, but for her family back here. And then four years later, a little bit over four years later, four and a half years later, to be exact, because they came June of 2014, December 2018. I pulled the plug on that, you know, and this is where a lot of these age gap relationships, see, I'm 23 years older than her, and this is where a lot of these age gap, something we don't take in consideration, I'm going to say the trajectory of our lives, while her life is going up like that, man, it's kind of going down like this, you know, I'm ready to retire, she's just now getting started. So I pulled the plug on that. I mean, she's doing great over there. Life is good, you know. 
because four and a half years goes by real, real quick. It doesn't matter that we already discussed it. It doesn't matter, you know, because she probably would have agreed to anything, just being, you know, a good Filipino wife. And then she probably never would have told me, you know, I don't want to go back over there. You know, for whatever reasons that they have. But she did anyway. So I pulled the plug on that. So you can imagine when we finally get off the plane and we're back in the Philippines. You can imagine how disappointed she probably was. That she's back where she started. Because remember, I don't understand what's going on over here. I don't know why she left and why she wanted to leave and why so many other people want to leave. Like one in 10 Filipinos are overseas Filipino workers. See, I, I don't walk in their shoes. I've never walked in their shoes. I can't walk in their shoes. I can't even imagine what it's like over here. I'm not even going to pretend to think I know, guys. I'm just letting you know that this is a big mistake we make. If you're going to take over there, just leave her over there, man. Let her come back and see her family and all that. But it was all about me, so I bring them back. You know, she's very disappointed. I mean, probably devastated her. I can only imagine the conversation she must have had with her family and friends. Like, what are you doing back here? You know, because believe it or not, these women, these people are on a mission when they go over there. She had a job to do, and she wasn't able to finish the job. And it probably came to a head when we went to this batch reunion of, you know, of her high school graduates. And I guess it finally hit home to her, like, why she left. And she's seeing all their lives and what it amounted to. Because remember, she was young. She was 28 when she went to America. 32 when she came back here. Her whole life was ahead of her. She did not want to be here, is the point I'm trying to make. And six months later, she was gone. You know, and that was basically the end of our relationship, the end of our marriage. And that's why I want to talk to you about. A lot of people do this. It's not just my story. Even before my YouTube channel, I ran into uh, couples that had the same problem. Now, if you... Um, I've been married for a long time because I got a friend here. He lives near the Canlahone volcano. He's been with his wife over 30 years. They've been outside the Philippines for over 30 years. She accomplished. It was mission accomplished for her. If you understand what I'm saying. She took care of everything she's supposed to take care of. Is living, you know, a fulfilling life and everything like that. All their dreams coming true. Now they come back here. They're not going to have any problem. But if you take a young woman over there who's just getting started, whose life is just getting started, whose mission is just getting started, and then you bring her back here when she hasn't completed the job, man, you're going to have a problem. But I met other couples. I met a couple in 2010 when I was in uh, Dan Bentayan Island. I was there. Supposed to have been going to Bantayan Island. It's a long story. Ended up in Dan Bantayan Island. But anyway, at that time, he had one of the nicest houses. Well, still, that I've ever been in uh, of a foreigner. I mean, this guy, they he was 81. She was 45. They met when he was 54. Listen to this. She was 18. He takes her to America. Remember, she's young. She's on a mission. Guys, you got to understand, they're on a mission. So then, remember, her life's going like this. His is going like this. He decides, he gets the bright idea, like we do. I want to retire in the Philippines. It's cheaper and everything like that, right? And, and in our minds, we're thinking, she wants to come back and live here. Wrong. So he brings her back. Builds this big, gigantic house. It's just these two. They don't have any children. On her family's land. And she's miserable. She's sitting around. He's not there. He's in the house. She's just talking to us. And she's saying, you know, 
I wish I was back in America. It's the worst decision I ever make. I miss my friends. I miss my job. She missed everything. And I'm pretty sure, you got to realize that's uh, 14 years ago. He was 81 then. But this guy was in great shape. He's probably still alive now. I hope he is. But you could tell she was very disappointed. Very devastated. And I don't know if their marriage is still intact. I mean, they have been together for 26 years or something like that. But when he brought her back here to live, it was a big mistake. I met another gentleman right here in St. Carlos City. He was retired from the military. And him and his wife had lived outside the United States you know, for a little while, but she was still young. And they had lived in the Philippines. They came back to the Philippines to live. And it didn't last long. And they were moving back to the States, guys. It's a big mistake we make. you with a young woman. I don't care how old you are, but a lot of times we're a lot older than they are. And you make the decision to take her back to your country, man. Just let her stay there. Don't take for granted that you know that she wants to come back here. Oh, she misses her family. She misses her friends. Yeah, let her come back and visit, but not to live unless her mission is complete. Unless the job that she set out to do is complete and she finished that job. Otherwise, man, it's not going to work. She's going to end up leaving. She's going to be, she's going to end up unhappy. And your relationship is going to be over. So if you care anything about your relationship, about your marriage, don't do it. Don't do it, man. You know, I always talk about the struggle over here, man, but I don't really know. I, I don't really know. I, I can't tell you really how hard it is. But the young woman I took over there, her life was really hard. And she had some dreams. And you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this. You know, I'm coming back from Dumaguete last night. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm seeing these college students get on and off the bus. And the closer I get to San Carlos City, the darker it gets. And they're getting off the bus. And I'm thinking, man, these kids are working really hard. Look at the sacrifice to be successful. They've got dreams. And I saw my, my ex-wife. I saw her in those kids. And some of them were even workers. I mean, you can imagine. They go to school early because, imagine I got off at Gahunan, which is like an hour and a half from St. Carlos City on a bus. And these students is doing that every day. They probably leave at 6 in the morning and come back 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. And they tall, man. And they, you know, they, they got dreams. And then, you know, some of them make the decision, I'm going to work outside the country. As a nurse, as a seaman, OFW, you know, some, some of them decide to, to get married to foreigners. And, and that's their way of getting over there. But they all are on a mission, man. They all have a job to do, to provide for the family, to contribute to the family. So when I brought my wife back here, man, it must have been a disaster for her. You talk about saving face. They're probably looking at her like, what are you doing back here? There's nothing here for you. You made it out. What are you doing back? And that was the beginning of the end, really. And I never thought about it. You know, I was just thinking about the shape I was in. So this is something else for you to think about, you know, when you start going to have relationships with Filipinos over here. It's just something else to worry about, especially with the age gap thing. Remember, her life's going up like this. It doesn't matter if you keep over here or not, and yours is going down like this. You got to prepare for that. You got to plan for that. Try to have some type of understanding. You know, you have to provide you know, for that scenario, when you get to the point where you're all the way down, because we take for granted that these women want to take care of us for the rest of our lives. They don't, man. They want something much better than that. Something much bigger. Something more meaningful, really. It has a lot to do with their struggle. 
and the struggles of the families, man, because I'm not going to pretend to know how hard it is over here. I tell you, I tell you all the time it's hard, but I really don't know. I really don't know. But it's a big mistake to do that. If you care anything about that woman and you want to keep that relationship together, see, it's too late for me. I can help somebody else. Don't do that, man. Don't bring her back here to live. A lot of people are doing that. They take for granted. That's what she wants. Oh, I miss my country. About as much as you miss yours. In the cir circumstances, I flipped upside down, man. They're on a mission. They have a job to do. And unless that job is complete, it's finished, you're going to have trouble. So thank you so much for stopping by. I just want to talk about things, man, that's really going to affect you. If you're going to move over there, then just move over there, man. Bring them back to visit because we would come back once a year. One year we even came back twice. You know, they don't want to come back here to live, man, at that age. They still have some things to accomplish in your country that they can't accomplish over here. I can imagine that a woman must have been devastated when she got off the plane. It's like, wow, I'm back where I started. You know, all these years, I'm trying to leave this place. And you bring me back. To do what? To do nothing. I have no job here. I have nothing to do here. But hang out with you all day. I don't want to do that. I got friends over there now. The money that I'm earning over there... It's gone. I don't have it here. So if you're in America, if you're in the Philippines, wherever you are, find it in your heart to help somebody. Now the day goes by that I don't help somebody. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Don't do anything stupid. Play that tape all the way through. Especially when you start having these each got relationships. How are you going to provide? How are you going to solve that equation? With your life going like this and her life going like this. You know, think it all the way through, guys, because I'm going to tell you something, man. We know very little about the women and their circumstances that we deal with over here. We think we know. So, Ask her as many questions as you possibly can. If you decide to take her over there, man, just leave her there, man. Don't bring her back. We're always worrying about women running off. Now, she's going to run off if you bring her back, okay? 